very interesting publisher. And then, of course, you see the gold. It's really stunning. This is a press book. And they were popular for 10, 12 years. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, having told you that, it's 1869, and remember, you never want a book published 1860, 1865. During war, and this is true of World War I and II, when you have big wars, uh, the paper is used for something else, and you get bad paper. So this is 19, 1869, so you're kind of lucky there. Um, that's my problem with the, this sounds like politics, but my problem with Iraq and Iran is the paper never changed. Americans don't even know you're spending billions and you're at war because they're treating it like something weird. But paper's supposed to be conserved during a war. And so this book has problems. First, it's called a gift book. And they put a lot of extra energy into it to do something beautiful. Now, are all of you aware that we used to have just rich people and poor people in America before <laughs> Mrs. Roosevelt? Are you aware of that? Because most people are not. So everybody worked in a factory someplace or whatever they did. So you go to a place like Woonsocket and there are 50 rich people and 20,000 people working in the factory for less than minimum wage. And there is no middle class. The teachers are underpaid. There is no middle class. So there's no one to buy a book like this except a rich person. So first we know that it's belonged to a rich person. Secondly, I haven't done the research. I've only seen this once. There are probably only 5,000 copies. Because it's not until Steinbeck, Hemingway, and Faulkner that you can sell 30,000 copies of a book. <clears throat> no insult to America, but we are not literate people. And uh, you go back before 1920, and 60-70% of people can barely read. And they don't need to read. They work in the factory, and they don't need to read. And they don't read. So there are no book buyers until Mrs. Roosevelt makes a middle class. None. Now, how did she make the middle class? She created Social Security because, again, before the Roosevelts, 99% of all black people died in abject poverty, meaning didn't have money for a grade. And 75% of all white people died in abject poverty. And then Mrs. Roosevelt gives you Social Security. So you quit working and you still have a little money. Just a little, but she got yeah. it. <laughs> so, Whenever you see a book this attractive before 1940, it probably belonged to a rich person. It probably cost about $3, which would be the equivalent of probably $30 today. And again, most people didn't have any money like that for a book. Now, this book has a problem because um, it doesn't really have, it, it's got poetry, and I don't see any famous poets in it. And then it has illustrators. And I have to do some research, but it doesn't seem to have any famous illustrators. But even if it did, the illustrations look good to us, but by the standards of that day, this would have been a steel engraving. And this is not. It's just printed. So this looks good, feels good. No author. The illustrators aren't famous. And it's not steel engraving. So, you know, in the best shop in New York, this would be 40 bucks. Um, and it just looks good by today's standards. But by the standards of its day, it's about a C plus book.